Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed your day. Today is a Monday and I think it's January 13th or 14th. Anyway, welcome back to the channel beauties. And this is the yearly favors for 2013. My actually, actually my first yearly favors for a year because I've only been on here not quite a year yet so this is my first year the hair products that I used one number one the first one I'm grabbing right now is the wet and wavy frizz free detangling spray and I normally use this on my natural hair when I take my extensions out um, I relax it and I put this on there to help comb through it along with conditioner and it was only like 449 so that's what it looks like it works very, it works good. I recommend this. I highly recommend this. So that's that. The next one is the Motions Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner. And I use this when I'm wetting my hair just to give it like a fresh, when it's wavy like how it is right now, even though I've been outside and stuff and it's a little windy and stuff like that. So it's a little wild, but it just helps tame and maintain uh, the waves that I have and that I put in my hair so I just use this with water most of the time on my extensions when I'm wearing my hair wavy so that's that I have another motions product which is the hold and shine styling spray and normally when I'm um, not roller setting but when I'm like flexi riding my hair this is what I spray when I take the flexi rods out and I'm getting ready to go outside or go somewhere. I put this on it just to hold it. I've spoken about this before in the favorites. Um, I think it was my last favorites that I did. Monthly favorites that I did. So I use this. It's just really, it works. It keeps your hair nice and shiny, but it's not like crispy or crunchy or anything. It just maintain, maintains your curls and waves. So I think this was like ten or twelve dollars can't really remember but not really that expensive great product use this mostly toward the latter part of last year like the winter season which is really now so and I'm still using it when I flex you out my hair so yeah next product is this argan oil and I've used this all year round last year and I'm using it now and most likely I will be continually using it this is the what brand is this organics this is the organics argan moroccan oil I got a new one from the last time this has been in the favorites as well monthly favorites so it just helps keep your hair nice and shiny and moisturized without feeling all heavy and greasy so this was like six dollars I think in the last video that I had this in I said it was ten dollars and no it was only like six or seven that's everything oh no I have one more product uh, for hair for hair also in the summer months and when I've been wearing like buns and stuff like that and um, hairstyles that have my edges exposed a lot I use the Palmer's olive oil formula um, edge control gel and as you can see it's pretty much going like that whole side is gonna have like just some in the corner right here but yeah I love this product it works a lot I normally mix it with water and just put it around my ends along with um, olive oil which I don't have um, right now to show you guys but I just use olive oil um, I have very dry hair very dry, dry skin as everyone knows that follows the channel so olive oil is really good on my skin as well as my hair I put it in my natural hair I put just a little bit in my extensions sometimes on the ends to keep them fresh looking I don't use it every day maybe like once every other day I'll put that um, if I haven't used my organics that I just showed you guys over there um, for it so between those two but normally when on my natural hair I use this when I'm having like updos or buns I use this um, a little bit of water some olive oil and then I'm pretty much set to go so that's it for the hair stuff now we're going into eyes so I use on my brows I have talked about this in a couple favors this is the Milani easy brow in dark brown it has a spoolie on one end 
and then on the other end is the actual liner and I use this just to fill in my brows and of course the spoolie to um, even it out throughout my brow um, I also use the Wet n Wild um, icon yeah Wet n Wild color icon and dark brown if I don't have this I use that and then I use the spoolie and I use um, my elf brow brush which has a comb and a brush on that side and I use all of those really to just help my brows look um, even and so the next nice thing cool, is so. a eyeliner and I use uh, the Wet n Wild color icon same one that I use for my brows only I use it in dark or deep black and this is let me make sure I got the colors right um, this is in black 651 black I don't know if you guys can see it or not nor so that's what I use for my bottom um, waterline when I do my bottom um, under eye eyeliner this is what I use for that I also use which I do not have so I have to just talk about it because I'm out of it and I have to get some more I also use um, for my top liner when I'm using eyeliner I use liquid eyeliner and I use the um, L'Oreal liner intense um, and has the felt tip tip on it and it's um, L'Oreal liner intense carbon black and I use that on my eyeliner for my top lid so that's what I use I've got to get some more of that but I still have to talk about it because I love that like that is just the perfect liquid eyeliner for me and it's easy for anybody especially if you're a beginner and you're still trying to figure out which I am not the best at doing wing eyeliner but when I do I do that and then when I'm doing just regular li liquid eyeliner I use that um, today I don't have on that I have on I think a kisses um, regular just um, pencil um, liner on my lid but that's what I normally use so I had to talk about that. The next thing that I'm going to pick up or that I have in my hand is the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. This is what I've used on my eyelid and this is what I constantly use on my eyelid to prime my eyes for my eyeshadow. This is only like $3. I use it every time I use eyeshadow and I haven't been using anything else but this and I highly recommend this. You can go to elf.com to get it or you can just go to Kmart. Um, they have sell elf products and I think Target I'm not for sure Kmart for sure or elf.com to buy it to purchase this speaking of elf elf eyeshadows this is what I've been using for um, colors for different colors when I want to go for um, a variety of different colors because it normally just has matte and shimmer colors in here so this I think is like 45 colors I think 45 to 50 eyeshadow colors and it has everything from colorful colorful like neon colors or bright summery colors to neutral and natural colors which is normally what I go I normally don't do bright colors on my eyes I may do like one color or whatever but normally I stick with the browns the cop coppers the bronzy the blacks the grays I normally stick with those colors for my eyes so this is what I've been using in the summer I used this a lot last summer so um, I love this and I think it was only like 12 12 or 13 or 14 dollars but yeah I love this eyeshadow palette I recommend it highly to anyone who wants to have just like a whole bunch of colors they don't want to buy a bunch of little palettes um, so yeah I recommend that another one that I've been using for the past two months is this uh, physicians formula eyeshadow palette and this is the shimmer strips all of these are shimmer colors and it's in casual and I thought the packaging is really cute because it's like a jean packaging with like a little zipper on the front of it but it basically opens like this so these are the colors I've been using all of these browns basically these colors I've been using um, just for a natural um, smoky look or just for just a natural plain just one or two colors on my eyelid and this is what I use and I do use that brush sometimes so yeah I apologize for the messiness 
but yes this is what I use all these colors are shimmer and I think it was only like eight or ten dollars for this um, little palette right here so yeah one more and last product for my eyes are the wet and wild palettes I have one right here but I use all of them this is the eight pan I believe four four yeah eight um, I use this a lot in the summertime as well and in the fall I've used this a lot I use all of the browns on this side and a couple times I use these but I normally stick with these colors right here so this is what I've been using this is in comfort zone and these are only like three to four dollars um, they have the two pan the four pan and the eight pan and I have a couple of them um, I'm trying to think of some of the names uh, I think you had me at um, blue or blue something I can't remember the name I apologize but this is the one that I have on me but I have a couple of other palettes I just didn't want to cram them all into here so I just decided to pick the one that I used the most this last